one day. But I believe it ends in Acts chapter, I think it's Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. Let's just go there, Acts chapter 8. We can't because there's no specific date that's given. But I believe that the incident that occurred here was uh, prophetic in nature. And Acts chapter 8, actually Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. What you read about is Stephen and how Stephen was preaching. The Bible says his face shone as the face of what? Of an angel. And then it says that at the end of his sermon, look what the Bible says in verse number 50, 54. No, no, no. Let's actually start with verse number 51. Because he was preaching to the Jewish leadership. He was preaching to the Jewish leaders at the Sanhedrin, that the Sanhedrin council. The Bible says that finally, when they wouldn't hear anything he had to say, he said, verse 51, you stiff necked and uncircumcised and hearted ears, you do always do what? Resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them which were uh, which showed before the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were what? Cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God. What did they see? And he said, he saw what? Jesus doing what? Standing. Standing on the right hand of God. And said, Behold, I see the Son of Heaven's open, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. And they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and ran upon him with one accord, and cast him out of the city, and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was what? Saul. Saul. That's interesting, because Saul was the apostle to the who? Gentiles. Gentiles. Because essentially, that 490 years have been given to the who? To the Jews. Marked out for the Jews. But now, because the Jews didn't actually fulfill their what? Calling or their destiny to bring in what? Everlasting righteousness. God said, all right, if I can't just use Jews alone, I'll use whosoever will. Let him come. That's something to shout about, friends. Because, because we're Gentiles. Am I right? You know, we may have a little Jewish blood somewhere. But for, most people don't look at us and say, oh, you're a Jew. Well, I know that the Bible says in Galatians 3, I can preach this. It says, to, real quickly, I, that, let me get this in. Let me get this in. Give, give, me, give, give it to me. Let me get to it. That's what Albert Cleveland said. He said, give it to me. He said, um, well, I'm saying this. The Bible says, it says, there's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither male nor female. There's neither what? Free, or bond. Free nor bond. But we're all one in Christ. And then it says, and if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So I may not be a Jew by blood, but I'm a Jew by the blood of Jesus. I may not actually have to, I may not actually have been born in Israel, but I know I'm going to the heavenly Canaan, friends. I'm, I'm going to stop there, friends. But you get my point, friends. That's some good news. That's some good news. I see her, she had her hand up first, and I see you, but Salisbury. Where people make a big mistake is they assume that all Jews are Israelites. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Jews are a separate tribe from the 14 tribes that was part of one family. Judah. They're from Judah. Judah came, the Jews came from Judah. Judah. The rest of Judah's brothers mm -hmm. made up the rest of, of Israel. Israel. Mm -hmm. Israel lost their identity. God said they would lose their identity until the end time. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of scholars that believe that England and the United States and the people that make up England and the United States may, are made up of the different tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. We are the lost tribes of Israel. Now, this is what she say? She, she, she believes that actually... England and the United States is part of the lost tribes of Israel. That's what England, she said. One, I forget which Did one she say a number, though? But England, she said 14, it should be 12. Okay. Was one, either England was Manasseh, came from Manasseh, and the United States came from Ephraim, or the other way around. Now, I can never keep that straight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a belief of one person. I'm not saying, <laughs> I just got to say that. Right. I don't necessarily I, 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 go, go with that, but I respect your belief. The reason why I state this, that I believe that they're right, is because. Because later on in the New Testament, Christ indicated and his disciples indicated that the three and a half years, there would be a three and a half year period where God would take his people from England or the United States, from Israel, and they would be kept safe for three and a half years. 
I'm going to respect your belief. I, I'm not saying I, I, you know, I respect you to have that belief. I think Elder Salzburg, Brother Salzburg, had your hand. I'm not going to just, I just, I respect you having that belief. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I, I respect you having it. Sister, we were talking about Brother Salzburg. The Gentiles, I would just want to mention uh, in the first chapter of Malachi, it actually talks about uh, God's name being made great among the, uh, among the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Incense, which represented prayer, shall continue to go up before God from, from the Gentiles. Amen. Okay, okay, amen. All right, now, so, now, Daniel 9, I think we're actually, all, are we over time? Yeah. We're over time. Oh, man. We better stop here. This is good stuff. Uh, can we do some more Daniel 9? Do you want to do some more Daniel 9? More next week. We'll do some more Daniel 9 next week. Thank you for actually tuning in. And we want you to come to tune in next Wednesday as we continue to study Daniel 9. We want you to study it, and you can actually, you can actually put in your... Your, your thoughts. I have one question. Sure. Why did the curtain for the, the women hide it? Why the curtain was torn from the top to the bottom and not the bottom? You know. So. We're going to answer that next Wednesday. <laughs> you Stay tuned. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you remember, you remember, you remember. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, dear God, that we are able to study the word. And Lord, you said iron sharpens iron. So a man, the countenance of his friend, we think that we can actually iron out each other. And we can sharpen each other and we can give our own uh, our own perspectives and thoughts. And Lord, we're praying to God that we will have an open heart, open mind to listen. Um, and uh, we just thank you for each person who shared. Bless each person, Lord, as we uh, as we take an offering and we get ready to leave. We pray to be with each person as they leave in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to take up the offering. Yeah.